Hello everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. In this video, you will learn how to automatically download and save attachment in Outlook to a certain folder using VBA and rules. Imagine you are working in a project and you receive tons of emails related to that project with attachments. After returning from your vacation, your email account is floated with emails and it is very painful to download every email attachment in your hard drive. In this video, I will show you how you can easily customize your Outlook with VBA code and use rule function to execute your requirement. So let's get started. First of all, there is no such direct rule which save all your email attachment in your computer. You need VBA code for that. When you insert VBA code, you need to enable macros in Outlook. So first go to the file tab and from the list, click on options. Your Outlook options dialog box appears. Click trust center and here you see trust center setting. Click on it. Now you have to click on the macro settings and by default, Notification for digitally signed macros, all other macros disabled is selected. You have to change the selection and select notification for all macros and click OK and again OK. Now you have simply activated the macros. Any VBA code you insert in your Outlook will be automatically run without any other setting. Now it's time to inject your VBA code into Microsoft Visual Basic available in Outlook. So first of all, go to developer tab, click on it. Here is a visual basic, click on it. Some of you don't have that developer tab. So you simply use your alt F11 key to open the Microsoft visual basics. Now here you have to click on the insert tab and from the drop down list, select module that will open a blank script page. Now you have to insert the VBA code in this page. I already copied my VBA code. I have also added that VBA code in the description below in this video. So you can directly copy and paste from there. So I show you how it works. Simply click control V to paste. Before saving the code, you have to make a slight change. You have to replace the path. I have already added my personal path. So you have to replace this path with your path of the folder in which you like to save all your attachments. Now click save button and close this window. Now your macro is created in Outlook. Now it's time to use rule feature to make your title into shape. So click on the home tab and here you can see the rule function, the rule key, click on it and you have to select manage rules and alert from the drop down list. Click on new rules from the rules and alert dialog box. Now here comes the series of steps. You have to select carefully to work properly. So first click on the apply rule on messages I receive. Click on next. Now which condition do you want to check? So if you want to fix a condition. For those emails received from your boss, you have to select the first option. Now click on here, select the email address of your boss, simply click OK. The email address of your boss will be added. If you want for the specific word added in the subject, you can select this. You can click here specific word, enter the word you want to be in the subject which you want to target for this rule, click on it, click OK, your word will be added. But in my case, I like all of them unchecked, which means the rule runs for all the emails I received. There is no such restriction. I leave all of them unchecked, which means the rule runs for all the emails I received in my inbox. Now click next. Now Outlook shows you this rule will be, will be applied to every messages you receive. Is this correct? So I just simply click yes, because I want to implement th that rule to all the email messages received in my inbox. So I just click yes. There is a go ahead permission from my side. Now next option is 
what do you want to do with the messages now you have to select any one of it when i draw, uh, scroll down my mouse there is an option run a script i select this now here i want to tell you something 99% of the users doesn't uh, have this option run a script in their rule because this run a script feature is disabled by microsoft outlook update because of their security reasons i am i have this run a script option because i have added this feature manually in my outlook you will go to my description section here you will get a url of my website where you can go and download that specific script and upload in your outlook that will easily add this run a script option in your outlook now restart your outlook and you will see this run a script script option available in your rule wizard so select this and here run a script in the step 2 section appears click on it and when you click on it select script dialog box appears one of the script which i have added in the earlier part of this video is already shown here which is already selected you simply click okay the change name is changes automatically to the the name of the script now click on the next button now there is an another option of are there any exemptions i usually leave this section as it is if you want to exempt anything from your rule you can select any of any of this option and simply click next this is the finish rule setup you can name your rule so i just name it uh, auto save attachment and uh, select this checkbox of run this rule now on messages already in inbox because i want all the messages having attachment to be saved in the specific folder i have already mentioned in the code now this is already selected and uh, simply hit finish when i click finish the rule takes some time and all the attachment in this in this uh, inbox will be automatically saved in your specific folder i hope you found these videos useful also if you like this video please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day